Paul, um, congratulations. Uh, world champion in a time trial on a totally flat parkour. Did you expect that at all? No, I was not hoping for this. Maybe uh, I was dreaming of a medal and uh, world champion. It's, it's crazy. It's uh, something that I can't believe uh, still now. When was the moment in the race where you realized, okay, I'm fast? Um, maybe at 5k of the finish, but I was in my head, it was maybe I'm doing good, maybe uh, I will be five or six or more, and we don't know at this moment. And when I'm in the efforts, I'm not hearing that much uh, what it's, uh, everyone says, and uh, so I was just uh, suffering a lot and uh, trying to do my best. <laughs> and yeah, that's crazy. That's yeah, I, I, I can't believe. Looking at the times, it looked like you still saved something for the end because you really uh, overtook them on the on the final bit of the of the race. Um, is that the case? Did you have this pacing strategy to race it like that, or is that uh, yeah, not really on purpose? Yeah, it um, it can um, we can see it like this. But when I start the the TT uh, I, um, in the five first K, I was feeling not that well, and I was. In my head, it was, oh, you, you're doing uh, too fast for the moment. You, you're not pacing uh, for uh, your efforts, and you will maybe broke in the last part. And so I was suffering, and after it was all in my head, I was trying to not blow up. And uh, in uh, the last K, uh, they say to me, now you, you, you don't think you push as hard as you can. And uh, so maybe I, I accelerate a bit in the last K, but um, in the last parts, uh, I was pacing like the other parts. And maybe I just not accelerate, but keep the pace of the first part. And that was it. Maybe that's the difference uh, for, I think, of the others. Maybe they, they crack a bit, and I was just pacing. Now there's on Thursday the road race coming up. Um, everybody's saying now you are also the big, big favorite for there next to Albert Philipson. Um, how do you see it? Um, maybe I'm not the biggest favorite, but maybe one of the biggest, but not the biggest, I think. I think the biggest is, uh, of course, Albert. But uh, yeah, it will be so hard. It's a world championship. Uh, it, everything can happen. And uh, yeah, I will. Do uh, I will uh, try to do my best, and uh, we'll see how it happens. But uh, yeah, there's still a possibility, still a chance to do something good, and uh, I will take it, and uh, I will give everything on the road, and I want no regret after this race. So yeah, we'll see. So all on the attack, on the climb? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Looking a little further ahead, um, you're going to be a development under 23 rider uh, in the future. Um, the UCI is uh, thinking about um, having world championships for under 23 in the future without the pro professionals, without world tour riders. Uh, how do you see that? Do you like that idea? Would you rather have all together? Uh, I think uh, it's a bit complicated. I understand this decision and uh, yeah, maybe it's a bit of a shame for me, for myself, I would say. but. I understand the idea, and so maybe we'll see uh, in the, uh, the next years if it works or not. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, for me, it will be hard to be in the World Championship next year. So I'm enjoying this one, and then we'll see. So first of all, uh, congrats and uh, happy birthday <laughs> for tomorrow. 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 Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow, tomorrow. But it's very big. Uh, yeah, it's a very big gift, maybe the biggest I ever had. So your sensation about the, the, the time trial, you, you think you still can do something like that or no? Uh, in the start? Uh, no, I was not maybe hoping for this. Uh, maybe a medal and um, then I was thinking, okay, you just do your efforts, do you, your best thing you can do. And then it works. I don't know how, but uh, it's uh, it's it's fucking it's a dream, and uh, it became true today. And I don't know how, but I just did my best, and this jersey was 
it's means so much for me. It's it's unbelievable. And after the Giro della Lunigiana and the European Championship, uh, what do you f uh, what do you do about your uh, condition and uh, the training? Uh, so the days after the these race, the races. For the moment, I don't know. Um, we were on the um, on the one week uh, rides, but um, like easy rides. And then I'm going on an operation of my um, uncle, I think. And so I broke my uncle uh, in the February this year. And so they will uh, take out of the, I don't know how you say, but something in my uncle. And so I will not ride maybe five or seven days. And I don't know if I uh, just cut for three weeks or not for the moment, but yeah, it will be like that, I think.